guys, um, second day of the arena being open today, um, fourth day all told, um, it's five past seven roughly, just gone, my voice is a bit knackered from um, watching NXT yesterday and shouting um, Johnny Wrestling, um, we're just being generally quite loud because NXT does that to you. Uh, we're up early and we want to get out early into the main arena because I really want to go in to, the, um, to see the NXT signing tent uh, meet some of the superstars because that would be so awesome. Yesterday, just before we got to the uh, second showing of NXT, uh, Adam Cole and Nikki Cross were there ready to sign um, pictures and stuff and we know for a fact-ish that Velveteen Dream is going to be wrestling in the main event tonight and whereas we might not get to see the main event because we're going to go and see Partway Drive he could possibly be at the early signing today um, if we can get to the uh, the later signing as well he could be there if he's not anyway but we're going to get down there because we've not done any signing before so we're going to get down there early and uh, see who we can meet don't know if you're going to be able to hear it but there's some dude Properly going for it. He's snoring his head off. It's so loud. Like everyone, everyone can hear it. It is really loud. <laughs> About to head down to the main arena. Got the uh, mandatory cup of tea and Benji's badass looking jacket. Looking, <laughs> looking mega pimp. Yeah. About to head down now to NXT. Let's go. <laughs> I think one of the weirdest things that I've seen is the fact that they put a big road down the centre of like the second stage. <laughs> road. Road. Right the way down. Yeah, but did they though? Did they? Uh -huh. Is that just a conspiracy theory from the Illuminati? Quite possibly. Coming up to an empty um, second stage. You don't realise how big they are until you get really close up. Sounds awesome. Going up to the main stage. It's a sound check, so it's very loud. Yeah. So I'm going to share with you guys how um, absolutely brilliant Benji is looking right now. <laughs> Many are called but few are chosen. Exactly. To rep such outrageous styles. <laughs> the guy literally suits anything, he can put anything on. Hey, <laughs> loving it.
in the queue for NXT sign-in and uh, it's Velveteen Dream and the women's champion Shayna Baszler win. That's so cool. It's got these big glasses with these beads sort of hanging down. It just looks badass. You can rock anything. Let's see if we can try and get a, uh, a zoom view of them. I think they've just gone back onto the podium. It's okay, we'll be there in a sec. Just met um, uh, Shayna Baszler and the Velveteen Dream. Unfortunately, you were not allowed to take pictures. So, uh, but we did, however, get this signed by them. Check it out. See the little uh, the spade for the Queen of Spades. Um, someone like Velveteen Dream can't really break his character, which you know is understandable. But um, as I handed him the bit of paper, I told him, you're one of the best characters in it. And ever so slightly, he just sort of goes, thank you. Yes. Um, Hannah asked uh, Shayna Baszler, what are you going to do to Nikki Cross? She said that she's going to drown her. Yeah. <laughs> like, take her to the water and drown her. Like a shark. Pretty sick, right? Brilliant.
my mind is absolutely blown. We just watched NXT, uh, the first show in of this day. Wow, it was so brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. We got to see um, Nikki Cross. We saw Ricochet fight Fabian Eichner. We saw the Velveteen Dream. Um, who else did we see? We got to meet Shayna and Velveteen. Yes. And we watched Adam Cole defend the North American Championship. What? What a show that was. That was phenomenal. Absolutely stonking. Brilliant. Adam Cole, baby! Fantastic, it's definitely like um, Japanese anime metal mixed with like Power Rangers, mixed with like Japanese stage set. It's absolutely brilliant. What are you, Benj? Uh, no. what are you about? Baby Metal. Fucking brilliant. Yeah, yeah Steven? Yeah. yeah, one of the most nuts things I've ever seen in my life. We have now managed to get to the front. Four way drive. Go away.
across the city where you burn as Joan of Arc. Parkway Drive. Yes! That was literally Stephen's first ever big, massive sounding gig. How do you feel? Amazing. Oh, uh, oh. Got kicked in the head so many times because of crowd surfers. Especially this man right here. I have more brain damage now than when I did when I was going. Yes. You is good England. Yeah, good England. Good England. <laughs> How was it, Hannah? Freaking sick! They went for ages to see him. Thank God. Uh. Absolutely brilliant. Not bad for your first proper live band, eh? Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Definite highlight for me is when they play Crushed. That's such a sick tune. Oh man. Um, voice grip was also brilliant. Oh, and that kid, I've got to go and find some, um, some liquid, some food, some sugar, some shit. Woo! Uh, back at camp. Uh, we're all absolutely trashed now. Um, really, really good day. Really awesome day. Got to the signing tent, met the Velveteen Dream and uh, Shayna Baszler. That's really cool. Uh, the opening NXT show today was absolutely phenomenal. By far one of the best like live wrestling shows I've ever seen. Absolutely brilliant it was. Um, well, did loads more shopping. Uh, baby metal. I didn't know what to expect from them, but they were absolutely fantastic. They were so so great. Uh, and then we managed somehow to surge forward from. I mean, we were quite far back, to be fair. We, we weren't in a terrible place, but we had to really really surge forward. 
but somehow we managed to get to the front to see Parkway Drive. We got full, full view of them, and they were absolutely sensational. They had um, the pyro, they had um, the, the spinning um, drum kit where he was strapped to the chair in like a racing car seat. Um, it was absolutely epic. It was so nice to see a band like Partway Drive um, from where they come from and they were sort of uh, the lower tier of that whole metalcore thing. And for them to evolve so brilliantly and get to that point where they're headlining a stage at Donington. That's so cool. Uh, yeah, and we're just back here now, just chilling out, relaxing. Yeah, um, last day tomorrow. Gonna go see Ozzy Osbourne. There's quite a few bands we want to see tomorrow, actually, so, um, catch you in a bit. <laughs> 